live. Okay, yeah. Um, did you do? You shouldn't have to sub stream. Oh, maybe it saves VOD under that. Yeah. So last time I just left it, it saves it under The Last of Us, and then it puts a chapter from where I changed it, but it still showed just the first part. Or, yeah, the thumbnail was still the first part, so uh, it, it's quicker just to stop it, stop the stream real quick. Okay. I'm done. Uh, uh, honestly, and I have to, I have to manually change the the title of the stream every single time. So that's true, but I'm excited for cookies. I am too, and I'm hoping that this time I don't mess it up. It hasn't been a long day, and my animals. They're all good right now. Um, today, we are making chocolate chip cookies and Madeline cookies. Um, I believe chocolate chip cookies are self-explanatory. I'm not going to mess them up this time. Um, and Madeline's are... French butter cookies. They're light and airy and very, like... Mm. They're light and airy. They're not a they're not a rich dessert. Although you can dip them in chocolate, or you can like sprinkle powdered sugar um, on top of it, just to give it more flavor. But it has a little bit of lemon zest, and it just gives it just a little bit of zest. <laughs> but we're gonna start with chocolate chip cookies first. I'm really scared that I'm going to mess them up somehow. I don't know how. But I don't know how I messed it up last time either. How are you guys doing? I hope you're having a good day. I should have asked that first. Flour, 270 grams. Put this over here. I wonder if you guys can move that. I doubt it. But... I. Last week's baking stream was so short that it doesn't even feel like I did anything. It feels like I haven't streamed in so long. I was gonna stream last night, but but Sydney was at home, so I wasn't I wasn't willing to stream anything fun. <laughs> fun for you guys, anyway. Have a teaspoon of baking soda and the salt and a big powder. normal sized chocolate chips so I have only mini mini ones and I've never tried it with minis I don't think it would make that much of a difference but I'm, I'm afraid that they'll I'm afraid it'll be weird your kitchen is so organized with a you even have labels are you judging me for my labels you should just make one huge ass cookie that's what I did last time I'll, I'll make one again this time it was actually pretty good uh... Cast iron. So I can make I can make just one big ass cookie. Uh, oh man, I wish I went to the store. Actually, I might have enough to make ice cream, so I can just make some homemade ice cream on top. Oh yeah, and I've got half and half. Oh yeah, <gasps> this can happen, friends. Okay, wait, I gotta make a note before I forget.
Maybe, maybe Vento will let me forget, but I will probably forget. Shouldn't take too long to do the ice cream, so we'll finish off the ice cream before we switch to the Okay, let's put this here. Over here. I always forget to start preheating the oven. So I started preheating. Excuse me, the oven. I okay, saw it, you guys heard it. I feel like my kitchen's a mess, so... You have that same pan? The same, the same little cast iron pan? <gasps> Mento! That's cool! I wish I could make you a cookie. Two sticks of butter. Ba -bum. 100 grams of sugar. 200 grams of sugar. I had a glass top stove for a while, so I was I was avoiding getting cast iron. Now, now that I've got a normal piece of stove, I want to collect more cast iron. But it's so expensive. Actually, they have a set at Costco. I think it's like maybe 40, 50 bucks, but it comes with like a big ass one, a medium one, and then like a kind of a smaller one. Like 40 bucks, which isn't bad. It even comes with like the silicone handles that just like plop on onto this thing. Sugar, brown sugar. Two grams. Uh, remember if, um, if you're in the future following this, if you have the weight, if you have the option of using the weight, go ahead and use it. But if not, make sure that when you're measuring brown sugar that you pack it as much as you can um, in the cup. But again, if you can weigh it, you should weigh it. Because then it'll always be the same. I'm having a hard time reading and speaking. Cast iron scratches glass stoves. I always use them on it. They can. They just ha they have a higher chance of doing it just because the bottoms you are, um, you know, they tend to be more rough. Um, I'm glad that it's never scratched yours. I'm a I'm I'm afraid. I don't like. I've already been teased about it, but look at my kitchen. <laughs> I don't like scratches and stuff. What long hair right there. Good thing I'm not selling these cookies. Butter. Two eggs. I guess I don't need a thingy for eggs. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure let hundreds and hundreds and thousands of people use cast iron on glass stoves and it's been fine. I, just, I read it on like a few articles when I was looking it up and I'm like, oh god. Never again though. If I've got a choice between a regular one like this one or a glass one, I'm gonna choose a regular one. Or I'm gonna choose a gas one. A gas one above all. Two eggs. Two teaspoons vanilla. Guys, I'm so oh I'm so tempted to use my vanilla. And speaking of vanilla, I haven't showed, shown them off since I made them. So I'm gonna do it now. Just to divert us for a second. Mento, I'm not sure actually if you're here when I made these. I can't remember. I can't remember when you came around. I said, eh. Da, 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 da. My extracts. 
So every few days or at least once a week, I just shake him up. I'm supposed to keep him out of the light and in like a cool place, but I, mean, I rarely open that thing. So this is the vodka. I eh, can't really see. They all look the same and it's hard to really differentiate anything. I, I could open it and smell them, but for some reason I feel like that'll affect the flavor eventually. That's the vodka. This one's the bourbon. You can... actually with the bourbon you can tell that it's a much darker color. Maybe not on the overhead there. You can totally tell the bourbon's a little darker, it's this one. I am so excited to buy or to try the bourbon vanilla. Looks like you need more vodka. That bottle is way too small. I only drink the big bottle of vodka. Mento, you're not supposed to be drinking these. This is for <laughs> This is for baking and and cooking. I wonder if there's any cooking recipes that use vanilla. Wait, bourbon vanilla sounds good as fuck. Doesn't it though? This is the one that I am absolutely most excited for. Like, I wanna try all of them, but the bourbon vanilla is the one I'm really like, super excited for. Um, I was talking to my friend earlier about, uh, if only we could, we, we don't live near each other anymore because I moved away, but if only we could um, bake together we would make like, I, w I was saying we would make the same recipe, but use the different types of vanilla and like see if we can like pick up the, the nuances and stuff. Ah, so cool. Uh, the other one that I'm really excited about is the white rum vanilla. I, I'm not sure what to expect from the white rum. Cause I mean, cause, cause bourbon vanilla is pretty, I wouldn't say standard but it's not like you know rare whereas rum vanilla I don't you don't I don't tend to see that like you know right away and then it being white rum I'm wondering what kind of effect that will have drinking wise I really only like rum and vodka not that I don't drink it anymore it's been a long time so those are my vanillas. I was gonna wait like six months or a year, but I'm... I can't. I made um, lemon extract. I made two bottles just because I ended up having so many lemons. Um, these ones were just made with vodka. The same vodka as the vanilla ones. And honestly, it was just... I just used the Smirnoff Red. Um, I don't know if that would be considered like a low quality vodka for like um, extracts and stuff, but I mean, we'll see. I plan on making more extracts in the future. I'd love to grow my own mint leaves and make mint extract. How cool would that be? And then I made orange extract just for fun. I don't think I've made anything orange since high school. Ooh, I know what I could use this for. Um, Around Christmas time, I like making um, ginger molasses cookies, and it calls for uh, like a tablespoon of water, but I always sub it out for a tablespoon of orange juice instead, and it just gives it the, the just kind of ties everything together. And uh, I wonder if putting extract instead would be. Ooh, I want to test it. <laughs> Hi, Flubby! Your name is pink now. It's such a cute pink too. Okay, that was a very, very, very long-winded way of saying I need two teaspoons of vanilla. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna use my, my cool vanilla yet. I'm not gonna measure that up, that's what I need it. Um, grams, chocolate chips, I don't think it's Bubby, did you miss me showing off my uh, my extracts? I have I I 
realized the other day that I hadn't shown them off since I made them. Just kept forgetting. Okay. Well, I guess I don't need a bowl because it calls for 300 grams. There's 283 grams, so I'll just dump the whole thing in. Why not? Why not? I'm gonna throw the baking soda and the salt into the flour. Because that's clean. I'm gonna use old reliable. I'm a little bit nervous about doing it. Um, but I need I need to re-grease this KitchenAid. I haven't ever done it in the ten or so years that I've had it. And I've never had it done, which is probably really, really bad. Like, really, really, really bad. But, um, I watched the quick video on a guy doing it by himself, um, and it seems easy enough. Just gotta unscrew a bunch of stuff and all that, make a big mess with the grease, and that's gonna, that's gonna suck. All the grease and stuff. But I was thinking I would do that on stream, so then <laughs> maybe it could become educational if I don't end up breaking my kitchen aid. God, I hope I don't break my kitchen aid. I'm so scared of it dying. It's starting to make like grinding noises with the gears. Please don't die. Okay, so we're gonna start by creaming butter and the sugar. Scrape it down. And make sure especially that you scrape it off like the paddle. Butter and junk likes to get stuck between the what would you call them? Rats, columns, thingies, whatever. Things get stuck. So unstuck. Now we're gonna make, uh, we're gonna cream that till it gets light and fluffy. These are just sugar, actually. Will you fit in there? I hope so. I'm gonna regret this. I hope not. Okay, so we're gonna sift the flour and the baking soda and the salt all together. Hopefully without making a big mess. And all I'm doing is just hitting it against the side of my hand. Just to get the stuff through. Yeah. Uh all reliable. The other I used I used the red mixer last time and it wasn't quite getting it well. That's why my hair looks weird, doesn't it? I'm I'm hating my hair right now, you guys. I know that um, quarantine well where I am, quarantine has been over for a while and I can go get a haircut, but I'm afraid for some reason. Very afraid. 
I need to find an actual, like, regular stylist. I've lived here for four years and I still don't have one. Your hair looks longer today. Which is funny considering I usually straighten it and you'd think that straightening it would make it just like a little bit longer. Maybe it grew. <laughs> so you can see it's getting really nice and light and fluffy. That should be pretty good. Oh yeah, I can show you guys the difference in the color. I'm just afraid it'll drop. So I can show you over here. So right in there, it's a lot darker than the stuff that's closer to like the outside there. And that's kind of what you're looking for when when a recipe tells you to cream like butter and sugar together. You want that difference in the shade of the butter and stuff. Just dropping by, gonna watch a movie with Wings. Have fun, Flubby! I hope it's a fun movie. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> now it's all nice and light and fluffy. Vanilla, two teaspoons. Well, not let's do the eggs first. I don't like use that bowl. I'm trying not to dirty as many dishes. Uh, egg number one. Mix it in a little. I usually just wait for it to break, and then once it breaks, let it go for a couple turns. Stop it. Add another egg and rinse and repeat until you have all the eggs. Sometimes the yolks don't break though, so if they take a little while to break, don't uh, don't just let it keep going. Okay, add the eggs. Scrape it down. And then remember once you add the eggs, you don't want to work the sugar mixture too much anymore. Work it a little, but not too much. Like don't, don't, don't play with it. It looks funny right now, but that's okay. Um, then add the flour. Okay. I'm gonna do half at a time. This makes it a little bit. The other bit. Now, I'm, mm, I'm gonna scrape it down and mix a little more. And the reason I'm doing that is because I can kind of see like streaks of egg in the dough still. Can you imagine eat, biting into a cookie and then getting like a bite of egg? <laughs> Work it just a little bit more. You always want to be wary of um, overmixing. Then you get a tough cookie. It was colder last week, but I 
wonder if I should chill them though. Nah, too late for me. I'm too lazy to wait. That's funny. Scrape everything off the sides that I can. And we're gonna dump chocolate chips in. They're so cute. So I'm gonna do about half right now. And then fold it. So folding, it, I'm kinda I'm scraping the side kind of pulling from the bottom and then I'm kind of folding it into itself. I hope it's showing on the camera okay. So I'm like kind of scraping the bottom of the bowl and then pulling up and then folding into itself. I cut into it a little bit that way uh, you can get into the parts inside the, the big ball, ball of dough in here. Can you imagine getting a chocolate chip cookie that doesn't have any chocolate chips in it? Be crappy. Put the rest in. Just eat it now. Looks delicious. I know. <laughs> I was thinking that too. I'm like, I'm gonna keep mixing it because there's there's a streak of egg. I'm like, mm. <laughs> not, not not necessarily the egg, but just knowing that there's cookie dough right here. Who oh, is? So I'm just gonna keep on folding it, cutting into the center of it a little bit. Now, since this is a cookie, um, it'll be a little bit more forgiving with you playing around with it just to make sure that everything's all uh, distributed. But if this were like a cake or something, if like you really don't want to work it more than you absolutely have to. But cookies are a little bit more, these ones anyway, are a little bit more forgiving. The Madeline's later. <laughs> A little bit picky, but be yeah, alright. Okay. So get the pans. Probably two pans. I should do the big cookie first, that way I know I have enough. Mentos cookie. This one's for you. Okay, so take my coconut oil spray thingy. Oh, so I can turn around. I have a, okay, good. I had a suspicious feeling that I had been muted this whole time for some reason. <laughs> So I'm just gonna spray a little bit of coconut oil spray. It's basically Pam. So I'm gonna spray a little bit of Pam on the bottom of the pan. <laughs> spray some Pam on the bottom of the pan. And then put parchment paper on and then I'm just gonna spray it more. And I really don't want it to get stuck so I'm gonna be kind of generous with it. Just a little. KitchenAid is being unused, so I'm gonna unplug it. weigh it. I want to see how much cookie fits in this this here thing. Should I bake it first? I should bake it first. That way it can cool down and hopefully we can put ice cream on it. I'll have to I'll want to stop and take pictures of, of that though. Hmm. That'll be fun. 
do do do. So who's the better chef? You or what up son? Definitely what up son. Like hands down. Like I'm I'm a wannabe. So <laughs> it's already a lot of cookie. I love it. That's two cookies so far. Well, maybe two and a half because I'm not really leveling it off. Okay, it's four cookies. <laughs> Easier with this thing. There's about four cookies worth in here so far. There's probably more than enough. Actually. 332 grams. <laughs> Last time I messed these up pretty bad, so I don't know how much it'll rise. I think these are supposed to be chewy cookies, so I'm expecting them to be rise a little. Actually, I won't cook this first because this will take a while. Or bake this first. 336 grams. Look at that. <laughs> it's beautiful. Mento, I'm so jealous of your, your cookie. Check it. Check it out. <laughs> So, I'm debating whether I want to take out 30 grams of it. <laughs> I'm afraid of it, like, getting big and, like, getting over about half full. It's not like it's a cake. Well, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna trust my gut. That's one of the lessons for 2020 for me. Trust your gut. Learn to trust your gut. And nary the difference. 301. I was like, dang! I got 300 grams exactly. 301. Perfect. So. Oven is ready. Oh wait, no! Did I decide? I did decide not to do these first. Let's throw these over here. I got so excited for them! Dang it. The cookies themselves will only take like 10 minutes, but that'll take maybe 20. Easily 20 minutes. Got the vanilla. Damn it! Your cookie's not gonna have going out to eat later. Later, have a good one. Let's see. Should I add the vanilla by hand? No, I feel like that's not gonna work out very well. Hmm. I'm... I guess it wouldn't matter. Because it's just like... A pan spray. I was, I was gonna say I gotta put the other stuff back in. That, that's what I will do. I don't want it to taste by me. <laughs> also, I'm not selling these. These are for me. My husband, I guess. But don't include... The paper. Okay. Note to self. Just measure everything out. God damn it. <laughs> I was good. I wasn't. Or I hadn't measured the vanilla out because I was like, I'll just add it. Measure it when I add it. Okay. 
I want it going while I throw the vanilla in already. Don't necessarily recommend doing this, but probably shouldn't forget ingredients like I did. All that talk about vanilla, and I forgot about the vanilla. Figures. Well, see, but at least we weighed it, and now we know how much to put in. Oh, that's cool. Just gonna put just a bit more. Not as much as before. Everyone's going out to eat around this time. I wonder if I should start earlier. <laughs> I have to eat this. Yummy. I'm glad at least I remembered it before baking, baking anything. The vanilla that is. So it's basically four cookies. Stupid, I don't know if you're watching, but if you're listening, see? I mess up all the time in the kitchen. So don't, be nothing. don't be nothing. Okay. Put that aside. Wait. What happened? Oh, <laughs> I forgot to put the, uh, the vanilla in. So I had to put the cookie that I already put in the the skillet back into the thing and put the vanilla. <laughs> I messed up, man. <sighs> you messed up. I sure did. to do this part without exploding anything. It's a miracle. Nine cookies? I'm afraid. I don't know if I wanted to try to do 12. Why you go gone and done, gone and done dead? <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm gonna make banana bread right now. <gasps> That's such a good idea, cause then I can show you if you need me to show you anything. <gasps> good idea. Oh yeah, so I'm scooping these things with an ice cream scoop. Makes it really, really easy. Makes them... Proportionate to each other? Gives you the right portions. Portions them out properly. There we go. I couldn't quite figure out or decide which sentence I wanted to go with, so I went with all of them. <laughs> Did 
Chainsaw, so yeah. Okay, we'll do. We do 12. Oops, shit. Poor stupid cookie. He's all ugly and stuff. I don't regret getting them so close together. I feel like I'm gonna regret it. Plus, I only have a few more scoops left, so I would still need to do a second batch regardless. Right? And two, yeah. More sense to split it up. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split it up instead of doing 12. I'm just gonna stick to 9 on the one and then however many on the other one. Just because I've only got maybe one, two, three or four more cookies left in there. And I mean, hi Kevin! What's up? You had a good day. How was your day? Busy doing yard work. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> Yard work's a lot of work. Stay hydrated. I'm sure it's hot there. That's why you're doing yard work. <laughs> Three cookies from the other one. <laughs> we'll I was gonna just use a scoop, but uh, I'll just use my hands. Save us time and effort. If the dough was cold, it would have been okay to move with the scoopy thing. But... Yep. Go ahead. I'll take the ugly one since he's already egg. Finally, a week later, you can go to cookies. Eight to ten minutes, so let's do seven minutes and see. Okay, I gotta rearrange these guys. I'm ready to get baked. 
I think I like the little mini chips. Chocolate chips, I mean. Kind of look like they're a little more everywhere than they were normal sized chips. This is me just being picky, but I'm just picking some of the dough off that kind of got left behind when I was moving stuff. Just so it doesn't... Well, maybe it'll burn more that I'm making a thinner layer of it, but less to burn. Swearbox DJ. That's a cool name. Welcome. I had just put the cookies in the oven and I think I'm just gonna tidy up. So you came at a very boring time. I hope you're having a, a good day. Nana03. Regime. Give treats to my pets. My bananas need the thaw. I forgot about that. It takes like 10 minutes. My pups are outside, so I'll have to just toss it to them out there. I, I, I keep them out of the kitchen when I'm cooking or baking. Well, no, not cooking, when I'm baking. I'm not sure. I hope my mic didn't cut out because I went a little far. Atlas, the lab, took his treat. Deku did not. So I think Atlas got two treats. Thank you, Nana. I'm sure the pups appreciate... Well, Pup and or pups. <laughs> Appreciate the treats. boring stuff now that the pups are fed their treats reuse the other bowls easily that's watching I hope you're having a good day if some if anyone has said anything I have, I'm not looking at the moment so but I hope you're having a good day 
It was later in the day. Uh, can't remember what I was gonna say. No. Should I make the ice cream? No, I'll make that when it's when the cookie is ready for it, because honestly it'll take 10-15 minutes. So I'll get these washed and dried. And then we will start the metal lines, I think. You know what's funny? Anytime somebody redeems give treats to my pets, I give treats to my dogs, but I never give any to my cat. <laughs> I don't know why. He's looking at me here like, hello. Anytime you're first checking the bake, the doneness, uh, don't open the oven. <laughs> it is a very good thing, my friends, that we um, split up the cookies because we would have uh, once again had one big ass cookie unintentionally. So we did a good thing. Good job, gut feeling. shell-shaped cookies. They're really more cake than cookie, to be honest. Like I said earlier, they're very light, they're very fluffy. Jumbo cookie. Yeah. We have a jumbo cookie and it's in intentional. I, I want I want I want these cookies to turn out normal, okay? Normal. I just want the normal cookie. Have a cup of butter and melt, okay. I wish it would tell me how much volume is. I don't want to overfill it with this. So, I'm gonna melt some butter for the Madeline's. Madeline. I'm gonna settle on Madeline's. They're French. And that makes sense. So I'm melting it, but I'm gonna like cut it up into little things just a bit just so that it melts more evenly and then we don't want it hot 
because we want it to be pretty cool by the time we're ready to use it in a couple minutes. So just do short bursts, uh, like five, ten seconds. I should like the first ten seconds. It should already start melting. You kind of just. Wiggle it, jiggle it around. If you got like a utensil or something with you, you can just stir it up. If you get it to the point where most of the solids are melted, just restart the timer on that. So I took it out when it looks like this. It's kind of mostly melted, somewhat melted. See if I can. Because once you mix it, it'll all just kind of. Yeah, there we go. It'll all melt together anyway. And that way it's not too hot. It is a little warm, but we're gonna let it sit for a little while anyway, so that's fine. We don't want it to be hot because it might mess up with the tea before it's ready to get baked. Three quarter cup of flour and quarter teaspoon. See now we don't need any baking soda or salt or something. Teaspoon of baking powder. Hmm. I wonder if I messed it up because I had to uh, put it back in the mixer and mix it more. But I think I hate this recipe. I'm sure, I'm sure they taste great because the last ones tasted great too, but uh, maybe, maybe if I chill them first. So I'll show you in a sec what happens to these cookies. They're ugly. I hate them. So I'm gonna eat them. Uh, not quite ready yet, actually. Butter. Two eggs. Now, 
if anyone is following the recipe that comes with this, it says half a teaspoon of vanilla on the recipe, but I'm gonna push it up to a teaspoon. Same thing with the zest. It asks for half a teaspoon of lemon zest. I'm gonna go for a teaspoon. It's been like 13 or 14 minutes now. kind of week you guys have had, but mine's been Confectioner sugar, powdered sugar. I'm never gonna get over that. In Canada, we call it icing sugar. But if you say icing sugar here in the States, people are like, what? What kind of sugar? Say hello to my big ugly cookies. <laughs> It's a good thing, it's a very, very good thing that I decided to uh, split him up because, like Kevin said, this would be one massive cookie. So, there's that. Batch number one of version two cookies. Uh... Is that technically a failure? I guess so. Should split up the other ones too. May as well. Guess these cookies in general are jumbo cookies. Or perhaps use a smaller scoop. I don't know. I, I feel like a smaller scoop would have come up with a crappy size cookie, you know what I mean? And then, like little teeny tiny thing. Now nah, you can pretty them up real quick. Hopefully. I mean, I'm sure they taste just fine. Okay, gotta move these guys once again. I think chilling will help it, but I kinda wanna get it, get it moving. I want them to be round. Gosh darn it. I feel like if they're too close to the edge, they're gonna end up freaking. I guess I could do four. I thought I had more on this other one. Oops.
I'm just gonna get a new sheet for that one. <laughs> okay, you stupid cookies, please don't be too ugly. I already, I failed hardcore the first batch. And I only failed slightly, slightly this time. I need to stop failing though. I'm also gonna change up the paper, because that's kind of messed up now. That other cookie will be okay. <laughs> the big, big cookie. The actual big cookie. We shall find out. Hey, one of these cookies didn't turn out so bad. It almost looks like a normal cookie. I'm not gonna pick it up yet because I know I'll break it and then it won't look like a normal cookie anymore <laughs> It's okay to fail, learn from mistakes I know, it's just, it's just annoying At least this time I'm not already on like my last Like, whatchamacallit Do lemon zest, so something I do for lemon zest just because it gets stuck everywhere and it's a pain in the butt to deal with. I grab a piece of plastic, saran wrap. Zest right over this. And when you zest a lemon, that's just when you get the rind off for the flavor. And you don't want to get like the white parts because that's where kind of the bitterness is. So you only really need to run a spot. Yeah, two times, three times maybe. Lot of work just in lemons. But it is worth worth the effort. Just watch your fingers. Um I find it's easier if I've got if you have one that you lay down like this, it's easier to pull. You could push too, I suppose. But whatever works for you. So you just have to 
scrub at it. And then just keep twisting it, turning the lemon until you've got everything. kind of how you want it to look like so right here is a little too much just a little bit That's a, right there's a little too much like if you get little tiny spots like that that's fine but if the entire lemon is already like white by the time you're done with it um, chances are you picked up a lot of the bitterness I wonder if I wonder if most people would notice anything so the reason I do the, the saran wrap is I can just wrap it up. Did I need it? Called for a teaspoon, but I'm gonna use whatever the heck is in there. Um, I am not going to start mixing the madelines yet because. I want to throw them in the oven right away after I pan them out. Looks funny, the butter. Just making sure it doesn't completely solidify because we're going to fold this into, into the, the mixture. So these butter, these are what Madeline pans look like. And just because of the kind of cookie they are, you kind of have to use them. Oops. I don't know that they would, like if you were try to try to scoop them out like, you, like I did with the chocolate chip cookies, that they would work. They'd probably work. That's what they look like. They're like little shells. They're not very deep. I guess they'd be similar to short shortbread, I suppose. No, the texture would be completely different. Flavor-wise, maybe. Now in. In the recipe, it says to butter and flour the pans. Um, I'm gonna listen to them just cause, but if it were me, I would just use the stupid pan spray stuff, but. got is parchment paper, just a little bit, just grabbing a bit of butter off the thing. I'm going to do it really crudely at first because I'm just going to spread it out around after anyway. If you need more, get more. use like wax paper too, that'd be the same thing. Eh. I don't know if like paper towel. I guess paper towel. Okay, why not? But if you've got wax paper or parchment paper, I'd see. But yeah. 
ta -da. How much flour am I supposed to put? Hmm. So, grab a bit of butter with a parchment paper and just kind of slather it on. So we're gonna spread it around anyway. Make sure you get like the bottom parts too much is missing. I decided to make these is because my mother-in-law really likes melons. We usually pick them up at Walmart. Like I can speak to them, they're super easy to make. <gasps> they're beautiful! <gasps> we have cookies, people! Real cookies! I may leave those other oops, you know. Let's see, what should we do? I think I'll throw the skillet cookie in after and maybe I'll save those other cookies for another time. I don't need that many cookies. The dough seems like it would freeze up really well, and I mean that little bit of chilling also helped the cookies, so, um, anyone trying out this recipe, I, uh, I'm pretty confident that you can make a buttload and just freeze it and then bake them out, the uh, normally. You might, might have to bake them a little longer, but the same temperature and everything should work just fine. Okay, so, I uh, wash my hands and then I touch my hair, whatever. <sighs> Just keeps getting in my face. So I'm just gonna put a bit of flour. Yeah, I'm not really sure. I was gonna like. I don't wanna overflower it yet, cause I was gonna do the. Well, I guess we'll test it and see. I figured if I put it above the sink. Yeah. Sorry, it'll be a little noisy, but if you just move the flower around. I'm making a mess! I'll do it over the sink. <laughs> Just wanted to be able to show you guys it. Yeah. Flowered pan. Sort of timer, good. 12 seconds. Is that why I can smell it? Give it another minute. Probably a minute and a half, but we can check it in a minute. Better to check sooner rather than later. bunch of flour on it and I'm just gonna like I'm gonna bang the pan and try to get the flour around. I'm gonna do it over the sink because it's messy. I'm just 
kind of rocking the flower back and forth, and any any flower that touches the butter basically just keeps it. Any butter that touches flour keeps it. Yeah. Those are there. That aside. Those are freaking cookies. Yay! Not that. Not that. That. Those. Yay! <gasps> they look normal! I'm so happy. Okay, cool. Um, we're gonna throw the skillet cookie in there. Hopefully. Well, we shall find out. For skillet cookie, we're gonna start with 15 minutes. Okay. While that's happening, I'm gonna tidy up a little. I guess I could test the first batch. The ugly batch. I guess these are fine, right? It's like a snowman cookie, but then it'll just come apart. Ugh. I think I need to buy a new microphone headset thingy. It's starting to hurt my head. so cute. Yeah, see, I like the other ones better, too, because they're thicker. I do wanna... My poor sad, like, square... Squirkle. That's what they called them. Squirkles. My squirkle cookie. Break it apart. It's nice and soft. Oh, yeah. Yummy. The outside is crispy and it's really good, and the inside is like chewy. Mm. It's kind of lacking in flavor, though. The funny thing is. Last time I messed up by um, adding lemon juice. Don't even ask me how I freaking decided to add lemon juice. But I added lemon juice and those cookies were really, really good. So I wonder, I may have to task myself with finding out to see if I can make, um, make a chocolate chip cookie recipe with lemon juice that makes, that will actually work. Throw like lemon extract in there. Yeah, that's interesting. I don't like it as much as I like the other one. Hmm. I think it's safe to say that uh, we don't like this recipe. This is a no go. Hear me, cookie. There are better recipes, I'm sure. I don't know how to put my headset in. It keeps like moving. So we gotta wait for that one to finish. I don't wanna. I guess I don't wanna put together the battle ends yet. Because I don't want them sitting around while. While we're still baking the other the, the skillet. Oh, uh, 
Anyway, just in case anyone was um, tuning in last week and I was going on about my cat, she's doing okay. Uh, her hernia thingy, or presumed hernia, hasn't gotten better, hasn't gotten worse per se, but it's it's changed in its form, so we made an appointment, but we can't get her until Thursday. But, I mean, she's... She seems tired, but... I'm sure she's not comfortable. I think what I'll do while I'm waiting a little bit... I'm gonna take a bit of a break. Because the head headset's killing my head. So instead of standing around here with it on, just give me a couple minutes. Um, yeah, hopefully. No, I won't be gone that long. I will be right back, friends.
I was almost gone for that, but I wasn't. <laughs> yeah, I don't like this headset anymore, it hurts. I don't know where I will put the mic though, and I hope... I would hope that if I were to put a mic up, like a stand, stand mic, not stand mic, I don't know what the proper term is, but like a... The Yeti, basically. I've got the Yeti that I use on my PC. If you put it up there... I'm afraid that it wouldn't capture me when the thing's on. Hmm... Guess we'll have to test it. Minute and a half left on the skillet cookie, so we're gonna check it. Oh lordy! <laughs> so it's a good thing that earlier, remember, I took out 30 grams. It. Oh, you can see it. Look. <laughs> it almost. It, it's about. It's about ready to go over. Actually, I'm actually very glad you can see that. I didn't know you could. Um, it's about to go over. But it won't. If anything, it might... I'm hoping it'll dome a little bit. And kind of look more like a normal cookie. Like, these are super flat. These are... Flat. Not super flat. So hopefully that one... It'll probably be flat. Shit. Did we already say that we don't like this recipe? Okay, good. Okay, so this butter... I don't know if that's too cool. Because we gotta fold it into. Oh, yeah, see, this is the last thing we gotta throw in. So, yeah, that's not gonna work. Okay. I'm just gonna nuke this. Just a little. We did 15, let's do 7 minutes. Okay, so I'm just gonna nuke the butter again, just to kind of liquefy it up a little bit. Um, and then that way, when we're ready to fold it in, it'll be a better, better consistency. Seven minutes, so I'll turn that on. Yeah, see, now it looks like normal butter. Oh my god, this is making me want crab legs so bad. I want to eat crab legs. <laughs> when we were in Vegas, we would go to like a different buffet every day. And I'm, I'm such a picky eater, but I always ended up eating crab legs. And because it was a buffet, you could eat so much. I could eat so much. I was still a little heftier at the time, so I could I could eat a lot of crab legs. I can eat a lot of crab legs now. Once a year, they have a they have a crab feed here in town. It's my favorite time of year here. <laughs> um, I'd like to occupy some time, but I don't know what to do. Oh, what is that? Look at this, it's got a little, like... I don't know what it's called. This is from the second batch that we baked. The same batch of cookies, but second batch baked. And it feels, it feels much nicer. It feels like there's actually, um... substance to it. The other one, I think these ones, ha like the, do the dough would definitely have to be chill to, um, for it to work. Mm. 
I'm probably overcooking it, but the outside being crispy is really, really good. The flavor is still lacking, though. Dang. Now that lemon... I'm always gonna want to have that lemon flavor in my chocolate chip cookies. But my mistake has messed me up for the rest of my life. Stupid, how's your bananas? Kill time, but I can't kill time just standing around. So I know that my my ice cream maker is a 700 milliliter max. Just on the fly. All you need for ice cream is um, heavy cream, and then it's up to you if you want it really f like fatty or if you want it, you know, not so fatty. You can use half and half, or you can use whole milk. I'm using half and half because I'm not bad. So 100. I'm gonna do. Last time doing it all like one one was a little too too rich. Rich? Creamy? It was too much. thing about this like the little uh recipe book that it came with is it's got a seven the ice cream maker itself has a 700 milliliter max but the, re the recipes are all for like Insane, actually, how much sugar goes into ice cream. Like that much milk, got that much uh, sugar. And I'm pretty sure that that's not even going to be as sweet as most people would want their ice cream. Yes, 
like which light is which. I'm using a little quarter scoop, quarter teaspoon scoop that I'm doing with. If you guys don't have an ice cream maker, get one. Uh, well, they're pretty pricey, but making your own ice cream is super easy. And it's so good. I think I need to put more sugar, because last time I made it, I think I'm gonna go up to about Maybe about a third, a third of a cup in total. Last time I made it, I made it made a strawberry ice cream, which um, definitely wasn't sweet enough for more for most people, I think. But oh man, it was good. It was really really good. I don't know that that would work the same with this though, with vanilla ice cream. The only unfortunate thing about ice cream makers is that you have to freeze the bowl, um, so you can't just like... I mean, it is ice cream on demand, provided that you have this in your freezer. Oops, sorry. Uh, you have it in your freezer and it's ready to go and stuff, but... If you don't, you have to wait for it. It only goes in one way, but it won't go in. If you've got your own, make sure you read your instructions on how to do it. For this one, it makes me do it while it's... It makes me pour it in after it's uh, already stirred. So just make sure you mix in the sugar into your milk thingy real, really well. Dissolve it as best as you can. Start it. Wait. <gasps> ah, I forgot the little paddle! The most important part! Don't forget the paddle. So, mine only goes in a certain way. I'm sure most are like that. Oh my gosh, you guys. At least I remembered before I started pouring. That's my silver lining. Now it's even harder to get it to. Dang it. Oh, 
Oh. Dang! What? Is that really gonna stop me? So there's a little... There's a little divot in there. And there's a little dip that that sits in, but there's water in it. So I, I couldn't uh, push it down to close it. That was shit! <laughs> and this thing's frozen, so it's not just gonna come off. No, what should I do? Let's see. If I were to put any milk in it, it would freeze it too. I'm like trying to get it off, it's not gonna come off. Oh my gosh, you guys! I'm not gonna be able to make my ice cream. <gasps> I'm so sad. Damn, it's not gonna work. Oh, I'm so sad. I have to wait for this thing to defrost and then I have to frost, like, freeze it back up. Oh, poof. Does that work? Is that enough to fix it? Maybe hope is not lost. Maybe we can still have homemade ice cream. I was afraid that if I threw some water in it, it would start defrosting too quickly. Because it had as a warning like, oh. Make sure once it's out of the freezer, you use it right away. Oh, it's so close. Oh, come on. <gasps> Did it? Eh. Eh. I don't know that that's technically closed. I guess it kind of was, but I mean, if I. I'm determined. I've had a lot of recipe failures. I'm determined to make it work. I'm really hoping I'm not taking too long either to use it. <laughs> okay. Well, it clicked, so. Works for me. Just gonna slowly pour it in. These days I will cook on this channel. I I don't know. I'm afraid to I'm afraid to mess up. <laughs> I mess up on baking and that's fine because I'm like comfortable with it. But I feel like if I were to mess up cooking um, on stream, I'd be like, uh, 
deer in the headlights. <laughs> Wait, what? What's a stove? Yeah, it didn't even... It didn't even stay up. <laughs> now, I'm sure I did something wrong, but I, I, I think this is a flop of a recipe, my friends. I'll show that off in a minute. So, it looks cute like that, but then you kind of look at it, I'm trying to angle it right that you can see how uh, concave it is. <laughs> I think if, it's, it's got a huge like dip for the ice cream to sit in and melt into. Yummy. Okay, so we'll begin preheating the oven for the Madeline, Madeline's. So that means we can probably get started on those. I shouldn't have put that right there. But, I did. anyway but it's kind of hard to screw up flour sugar and eggs and stuff flavor wise Since we have everything ready, we can just get started. We're doing metal eyes. Uh, sift together. Okay, so melt the butter. We did that. Sift together the flour and baking powder. We did that. So two eggs, vanilla and lemon zest. Beat on high. Okay. why I do the plastic because I mean there's some recipes I have where I need to divide it and like doing it onto a plate always Ugh. anyway okay so we got to beat it so it says beat on high Five minutes. Must double check something. I 
had a doubt in my mind that confectioner sugar was uh, granulated sugar for a second. Nope. There's so much waiting today, it's kind of driving me nuts. a down one because it didn't seem like it was doing very much. Last time I made Madeleine was in school, in baking school. Ten years ago. Or more, it's gotta have been more than that. Shit, I'm old. I told myself I would never be one of those people that are like, oh wow, I'm so old, or you know, you'll understand when you're older. There are just some things that you don't understand until you've experienced it and a lot of times you don't experience it until you have enough time to experience it. There, obviously there's people who experience things, you know, earlier in life than probably should, but generally speaking. I'm curious what the reason for beating on high is for five minutes if it's not really doing anything. I guess it's kind of aerating it. Oh. My husband's gonna be so tired tomorrow. Five seconds until we get more action. I don't know that the skillet cookie worked out very well because the outsides are like crisp and the inside is. Well, I guess that's like all the cookies. Ten seconds! sugar slowly while it's going I should sift it in Let's see if it breaks it up 
poor thing sounds bad. So we're just slowly adding the sugar. Scrape it down, scrape the bottom, scrape the sides. No matter what you're making, make sure you scrape it. Adding the sugar. time and then we'll start doing the mixing. Okay, five, five to seven, so let's start with five and see. So it didn't say high or low, let's see. So we don't have too many leavening ingredients in here. And that's why we're beating the eggs so much. We're putting putting egg po egg pockets. Air pockets in the egg. It's gonna help make it light and fluffy. I don't know if you can tell. Okay, we're about halfway through the mixing and it's like way lighter now. Now it's starting to make sense. Cool. And then the butter is going to be at the perfect temperature, I think. Nice. Maybe, maybe something will work out. Excuse me. 
I'm mixing it just to any warm warmth or whatever. Help dissipate it a little bit more. The instructions say until it's thick and satiny, so. Looks like it's about there, but we still got two minutes left. I wonder what it'll look like in two minutes. arrange them well, people will never know that they're sad. You can't tell the difference. YouTube station because I swear I've heard this song a couple times at least now. I hope you guys can hear the music because I can't. <laughs> So we did five minutes, it said five to seven minutes. Um, ooh, it's pretty nice as is. Uh, I'm gonna err on the side of caution and not do more. Okay. So. Here comes the fun part. Not really. But... That works. So we have to fold the flour in. Again, the Madeline cookie is very much closer to a cake Kind of like a small sponge cake, almost, I guess. Closer to a cake than a cookie, really. I was like, what's that sound? It's the ice cream. Looks good to me. Okay, we'll leave that for a second. Ta-da! Ice cream! Looks funny because it, you know, stirs it around and it kinda... Oh man. Ooh, I wanna try it. Oh my god, can you imagine if I made this with my freaking bourbon vanilla? Oh. Crap, I can't wait to be able to use that. This is just normal, normal people vanilla. Yep, I'm glad I added that little bit more sugar. Because I think if I hadn't, it would have just been like... Frozen milk. <laughs> yeah, because vanilla, you kind of rely on that flavor. So, let's see. Let's get this junk out of the way. So, Damon and Boise 
there's a store called, and I'm sure I'm not gonna say it right, Sur la Table. Table? Sur la Table. T A B L E. And I saw this over in the corner. <laughs> and it's so unassuming. I guess it was in a box though. But... It's a. <laughs> It's a reusable uh, ice cream container, like insulated. This is silicone and everything. It's cool. This is actually gonna be my first time using it, so. Thanks for being here with me, guys. It is washed and clean. It's, it's been waiting to be used. Prior to this, I had just been storing them in like Pyrex, which I'm afraid of when they explode, but. Internet says they won't. But if they do, I'll know who to... Who to blame. No, that's not working as well as I thought it would. I'm scared of dropping things. Okay, so I'm just... Getting all the ice cream out. Yes! soft serve. I could have done it longer. That was only 20 minutes. Definitely could have done it longer, but I mean, I'm gonna throw it in the freezer anyway, so. All the messages I've gotten. That was the first notification that I've heard. <laughs> there we go. I made vanilla ice cream. I wish I had vanilla beans so that I could have the little bean thingies all over. Is it 12th? Yes, it is. Always label your stuff so you know what the heck is what. Uh, should be good up here. Okay, now throw this in the freezer. Then hopefully by the time the cookie is cooled enough, um, I'll be able to put some of that on on it and show you guys otherwise i will um set up like my light and stuff and take a picture that would be hard because the ice cream would melt it like immediately i would have to be really quick with it so yeah i think i, I think i'll take pictures when i'm not on on stream just so i can get everything set up and ready perfectly and all that but now that that's done Someday we will finish these Madelines. Okay. So, we're gonna fold in the flour in quarter, quarter, not quarter cup increments, but like quarter increments of the, the flour. That's a little bit more than that. So, remember folding, you kind of want to scrape like the sides and you like fold it on itself a little like that. And the reason we're doing that is because we had beat it for so long to get all the air bubbles in the egg and stuff. If I were to mix this normally, like, you know, like stir it, or if I were to use the paddle attachment and mix it that way, it would, uh, it would probably destroy all those air bubbles and then we did all that for nothing. Howdy, stranger. So there's still little chunkies of this flower left. But we always want to protect from over mixing, so we're gonna put a little bit more. Be 
be really gentle with it. Might help too if you angle your bowl a little. You don't so want bad. to overmix, but you like. Just crazy. Take your time. You. you want to do it properly. I hope that thing I. Pops. <laughs> there was a little thing of flour that went under. There you go. There you were. Son of a bitch. I'm trying to mess up my shit. Can you imagine biting into a big thing of flour? Definitely made a good move. Warming up the butter a little bit more. While we got this part ready. There we go. You can kind of see it's kind of coming together now. It's not so liquidy. It's more. It's very fluffy. If you can imagine. That. Fluffy cake mix. Be nice if I could fit both of those in at the same. Oh, I can't. Ha. Ah. Okay. Old linen. Last bit of the flour. Oh yeah. It's so fluffy. It's so cute. do it in two increments I think maybe three I'll do two two increments oh my gosh it looks weird We will see if we shouldn't have uh, warmed it back up. See, because now that I'm looking at it, I wonder if the other uh, texture would have been better. We shall see.
it's fine, but I wonder if it would have been better to have left it. I'll have to test and see. If these end up tasting good and coming out right, then I'm gonna make them a lot. <laughs> Best we got, friends. A non soul is now hosting you. Give cookies. Whoops. Come get cookies. How are you? Thanks for the host. You don't have to do that. Let's see, it said three quarters full. That's probably gonna be, oh no. I have it exactly. Doo -doo -doo. Three quarters full, is that about? I'd say so. So about. No. Maybe a little more. That kind of makes sense. Okay, so this is a one ounce. If this is a one ounce scoop, which I think it is, each of these cookies, these Madeline's, would be one ounce. That makes sense. Sensible. Maybe I should put one <laughs> one pan in at a time so I can see if one gets messed up. And if I should have a I should have a good cry first before attempting the second one, but I uh, got this. where it needed to land. I'm well just trying to stay, stay sane is all. I feel that. I, I hope you're able to. I hope you've been doing good. I don't know what it's like over there, but... Fortunately for me, where I am, it's very... It, it hasn't been very hectic, but I mean... It hasn't really slowed down anywhere else, so... It's been a while since I last cut a stream. You're doing great. Thank you! Every time I... Pretty much every time I stream, I think about the first time I tried to stream and you basically carried me. Carried me, so thank you. Now look at me! I'm all grown up and stuff. So if we fill all four... Four. 24 first. Excuse me. Um, then we'll know if we can top some off. <laughs> Excuse me. Oops.
like when we made Madelines in school, we piped them. But they can clean them up. I'll read that in a sec. I'm just gonna finish this. went from being a little too small to possibly a little too big. Oh no, that was what was closer to open. luck guys I've never actually tried these pans before it's my first time 10 to 12 minutes so let's start with eight and I don't know if having the light on actually changes anything but I'm afraid that it does Yeah, things are things here are not bad, honestly. Scotland is mostly sane when it comes to COVID stuff, and our daily ca cases slash deaths have been declining recently. I think there's been maybe one or two deaths in the past week now. Oh, that's good. That's really good. Um, but the Scot oops, but the Scottish government has been taking things more cautiously than the English government. But also because of that and how the company I work for is doing things, I'm going to be out of work until October. Fuck. Are you at least paid? Kevin? Nope, I didn't- I didn't call you or anything, Kevin. Might have just been me not speaking clearly. I'm getting 80% of my usually month- usual monthly pay. That's not too bad. I'm sure that's difficult for you though. I'm so scared for my Madeline cookies. I don't want to mess up another <laughs> another recipe. Oh, I'm not even gonna turn the light on till the till the timer goes off. Oh, what should I have for dinner, guys? Don't think I'll cook on stream, but I always take.
to look at the details. I guess I can ask when we're picking it up. I'm getting a washer and dryer, guys. Oh my gosh. Not really, since I'm not going out so much. I'm saving money on running my car. Oh, that's good. I'm really only losing like 100, 150 pounds. Pounds, right? Am I saying that right? I've never, never known how to say that uh, symbol in my head. I think PJ answered once, but I don't remember. Which yes, suck, suck. It sucks, but still. Yep, you got it right. Cool. That's so knowledgeable. Um, I'm glad. I'm glad that you're not hit too hard in terms of the financial um i know for me my mental health has been even more fucked than usual <laughs> some days some days are hard last week was hard last week was like last week was a really long week and i i don't know if the same kind of buzzy energy would have been around there in scotland because last week i believe Last week, yeah, it was last week. That was the Fourth of July, so I, like it was pretty busy. And here in town, um, in my town, um, hang on one second. So here in my town, um, we're basically the only place other than another place. There's only two places that I know of in Idaho. And honestly, if you think of Idaho, we're basically all one thing. Um, it's the only thing, that's not true, happening. Um, so, you know, in, in Boise, in the major city, there wasn't much happening. So I was afraid that a bunch of people were going to come from the big city up to um, the small town. So to try to find, you know, something to, something to, somewhere to party for um, the 4th of July. And that stressed me out. A lot because I was like well be a lot of people and my husband you know he's in a band and he plays during these things and just stresses me out and uh, it turns out there was a huge fucking rock slide that basically took out the only the only highway between north and south um, Idaho so Unless people had already come prior to, you know, Friday morning, I believe it was. Most people couldn't couldn't make it up. Yep, you got it right. Mentally I'm drained from my routine being totally destroyed, but gaming slash anime help. I bet. I I actually have time to do stuff. Yeah, I know the 4th of July is a big thing for you guys over there. I seen you share that on Facebook. Yeah, dude. That's insane. I was looking at those pictures where there was the boulder that came down the other day next to like the con the big cargo containers. And I was like, oh man, that looks bad. And then I look at the comments and somebody was like, holy crap, those are 40 foot containers. I'm like, holy shit. They're making them, they, those that boulder made those look small. Man, very freaky. To be honest though, the money I've saved have, has been spent on games. Good job. I mean, when you can't work, you can't really go out, you can't really see anybody without um, either repercussions in terms of like, so like societal or, you know, health, obviously. You can't go out safely, basically. <gasps> They're beautiful. Ready. Oh, they're ready. Cool. Gosh, how long did I do that for? I wasn't very. Seven minutes? No way. Ten minutes. Did I do ten minutes? Okay, I gotta check this. Um, I don't know how to hundred percent check for Madeline's, but I mean, I poked it and it it it, it, it bounced back. So. Well. 
Everything that tells me something's done is telling me these are done. They smell really good. I am glad I basically tripled the, <laughs> the amount of lemon that was supposed to go in it. Face masks are mandatory here now, especially when going into a store, so that helps a bit. That's cool. I have a very, very hard time with face masks. Um, I do my best. Um, cause Costco here is mandatory and it's been mandatory for a while. And I do my best to keep it on and everything, but just... For one, after about an hour with that thing on, I'm like, take, like, I'm like pulling it off my face so I can breathe and like stop like hyperventilating. But then as soon as you touch it anyway, like, anyway. I don't want to get into anything, um, anything, you know, everyone, no one knows what to do. No one knows what the right thing to do is. So, I just, I think we shouldn't judge each other for the things we do, we feel we should do. That's my soapbox moment. I get that. My issue with the face mask is every time I breathe, my glasses fog up. That's- yeah, that's gotta be crappy. Can you imagine, um, healthcare workers that have to wear those, like, literally all day that have- that also have the glasses? Like, what can you do? What can you possibly do to, um, to alleviate that other than contacts? But there are some people that, like, cannot wear contacts, you know? So what- what do they do? Okay. Meta lines. I'm kind of, I'm kind of scared to pop one out. Let's pop out an ugly one. This one's got a big old mound on it. <laughs> it's not even. I don't even have to do anything. I don't know if you can see it. It's just sliding out. Okay. There we go. Meta line. Now, they're supposed to have more of a shell shell shape on them but i guess the divots on that like you can see where they are but when you actually look at it from like a different perspective they're not really there but There is a way to sit the mask under your glasses so they don't fog up, but at the same time it's uncomfortable. That sucks. That really sucks. Hmm. I don't know. I'll have to get my mother-in-law's approval. Or not approval, judgment on it. But I think they're good. Very lemony. No, I know she likes lemon. She'll like Since they basically slide out, I'm gonna take them out of the pan so that they don't keep cooking. It's almost 2 a.m. and you're making me want cookies, damn it. It's only 6 p.m. here, so I mean, if you were in this time zone, you'd be fine. <laughs> you can have my shitty, you can have my shitty, um, chocolate chip cookies. 
I don't know if you've seen them. First of all, my first batch uh, kind of grew into each other, so they're not all very round. The second batch is a little rounder, but I mean, the cookies themselves taste okay. But I would have preferred like a like a smaller but like a thicker thicker cookie. Also, I messed up on the same recipe last week and uh, I accidentally put lemon juice in it. And now that these ones don't have lemon juice, it's like lacking flavor. <laughs> hey, you wanna ship them? I'll eat them. Hey, if you're serious, I will ship them. I'll put them, um, put them in a little Tupperware. I don't know that they'll survive, but if I put them in a Tupperware and wrap them up really well, they should... They should still be edible. Um, mostly. I don't know... I don't know how long it would take to get to you. I don't know if, like, um... International mail, they will survive where they're gonna go. <laughs> Worst case, if they if they come and they're all crumbled up, you can just put them on like sprinkle it on ice cream or something. If you're serious, I'll mail it to you. Not the skillet though. These aren't bad, but so I mean, I guess I should have tried one of the Walmart ones that my mother-in-law likes first so that I have a so that I have a reference point but I feel like they're not that fluffy could be fluffier probably because I mixed the crap out of them mm, folded the crap out of them I don't like that they're not really shelly It's like half of the cubes. Oh look, it's perfect. <laughs> I mean, if the shipping costs aren't too much and they won't take too long to arrive, then hell I'll have them. I'll have to see how long they'll take to get there, um, but I don't know how much shipping costs would be. We could always split, uh, uh, split the shipping costs. That would work. I do have to run some errands tomorrow so I could stop by the post office quick and see how much. Because it would be weight, by, but weight-wise that should be... Shouldn't be anything. I mean, if the shipping costs aren't that much, I'll pay myself. Uh, yeah, I mean, if they're- if they end up being, like... If they're borderline too much, or into too much, I will- I'll help you. I'll help you pay- I will help you pay for it. If I can speak English. might be. No, it's still too warm. I want to take pictures with like a big dollop of ice cream on it, so I'm not gonna do it. I was gonna I was gonna try to do it right now on the on stream, but I won't. Sorry. Uh ice cream. It's in the freezer. I think now it's gonna be And now it's not very soft servy. Sweet. Oh my god, you guys are nice. Bad. So is social eating like people will stream while they're eating and then just talk to people? Well, once you find out the cost, let me know and we'll work something out. Okay, cool. Sounds good. I've got cake pops too, I can mail you some cake pops as well. I feel like those will survive a little bit better. What? Well, er. 
No, because of the heat. I forgot about the heat. I've also joined your new Discord server. Cool. I figured that you'd find it eventually. I will, uh, I'll welcome you officially on it in a little, in a little bit. Ooh, cake pops, they always look so good when I see them posted on Facebook. Thank you. Um, maybe when it cools down a little bit, um, I'll send some over, but they're, they're coated with chocolate, so if it's even, like, room temperature, they'll kind of melt and leak and it won't, they won't, those ones won't, uh, those ones won't, won't survive at all. Yeah, I know, it's warm as hell for you guys over there. Is it not warm over there? Well, here's the standard Scottish summer. Oh, okay, so rainy, rainy and cold, right? It's like Vancouver, but I believe Vancouver's having a... A real summer. Or at least... The other day it was warm. I can't remember. Excuse me. Excuse me. Um... <sighs> I need to eat dinner and clean up and stuff. Basically, although it's not been too bad rain-wise lately and not much, not much of a chill. Oh, that's good. So it's a little bit warmer than usual for you too. I was wondering that stupid thing. Thank you for confirming that you're still watching. Yeah, so anyway, I gotta eat dinner and I didn't, I honestly, like, I knew I was kind of putzing around a little bit, but I didn't realize that I already hit, like, three hours. Well, in a couple minutes, it'll be three hours. But, uh, yeah. I haven't decided yet what to do. Oh, wait, no. That's a lie. I can't stream um, baking next Sunday because uh, there's a wedding. Or, excuse me. Um, my husband has a show that he's going to play at... Um, in the in the next city over, so I'll be gone. So I won't bake. I won't be baking. Hopefully, I can speak next time. I won't be doing another baking stream until the twenty sixth. So that gives me a lot of time to decide on something. But I will do more gaming stuff. I'm hoping. I have no idea how far I am in The Last of Us, but I'm hoping I can finish it before Tuesday, because Tuesday Friends of Mineral Town comes out, and I don't know that I'm gonna want to play any other game. But, I will go eat dinner. <sighs> oh wait! I did... <laughs> I guess I did say Kevin earlier. I forgot that you're, you are also Kevin. There's two Kevins. But anyway. <laughs> Thanks for stopping in, anyone that's hanging out. Um, I will be streaming some gaming tomorrow at some point, so... If you want to see more The Last of Us, I think I'll. Uh... Actually, that might get messed up too. Man, I don't know anymore, you guys. I'll stream whenever I can. Have a good night or good morning or whatever, whatever time it is. Thanks for hanging out today. Bye.